Hey, what's up, everyone? I am answering a, um, a Facebook Messenger question I got, I think, yesterday or the day before. And it was a question I've heard before, and I thought I'd just share the answer with you because um, instead of answering questions one off, it's always easier for me to just make a video and share, and share the answers with others who might have the exact same questions. So that's exactly what I'll do today. So the question I got was, uh, it was, hey, John, um, my VAs are on the phone with these people um, asking, you know, would they like an offer? And as I listen to these recordings, I'm hearing some people who are really unmotivated pushing back quite a bit. Uh, like, hey, are you just going to lowball me? Give me a half price offer for my property. And the question this gentleman had was, hey, do I, do I even want to call these people back? Um, so I wanted to give the answer to that question. Um, I'm going to give it a few different ways, I think. Uh, as always, I'm unprepared. I'm just spitballing here. But uh, first of all, when sellers come to you, they're, they typically all sound unmotivated, right? I mean, just I want you to think about it. If you were selling a property, if you were selling anything, let's say you had an old, an old treadmill, right? An old piece of expensive exercise equipment. And let's say you spent 5,000 bucks on this treadmill. Uh, maybe it was on a payment plan. A year went by, you haven't used it and said, you know what? I'm going to try to get as much money out of I can, as I can for this thing. I'm going to sell it. And you put it on Craigslist and you said, you know, maybe, maybe uh, 3,000 bucks or, or, or 4,000 bucks or best offer. And somebody calls you and they say, how much do you want for your treadmill? Are you going to automatically say, well, I'll take 1500 Even if like that was your bottom number and you would take 1500 would you go there immediately? No, you're going to go, well, you know what? I spent 5000 for it. I'd be willing to part with it for three or four. Um, that's probably how you'd start. Now, think about being an investor. Um, that's exactly what's going on when you call people. If you're cold calling or whatever, say, hey, I'd like to make an offer on your property. And they say, uh, yeah, but... Um, I'm not going to accept this much or, or you know, what is it? Uh, and you, or you, let's say you call and say, hey, um, I'd like to buy your property. And uh, you ask them, hey, how much would you be willing to take? They're not going to automatically go like, I'll take 50% of, of, you know, what I bought it for or, or whatever it is. They're not going to do that. So uh, first point I wanted to make is everyone kind of sounds unmotivated at first. No one's going to volunteer like, hey, I'll take 50 cents on the dollar for anything, whether it's a house or a treadmill. So get that out of your head, like right away. Don't use that first interaction as a way to uh, classify someone motivated or unmotivated because it's just, it's not a good way to do it. Um, number two, you got to think about why do people push back? Why do they get hostile? Why do they, why do they put their guard up like that? Well, they, they're just going to think they're getting taken advantage of. That's how we preemptively strike, right? Um, in our training, one of the examples I use um, is, hey, you know, have you ever been in one of those timeshare presentations or some type of high, pr high pressure presentation with like you and your spouse and you guys are walking in there together? Maybe it's a gym membership or something else that's known for high pressure. Maybe it's buying a new car, right? What's that conversation sound like on your way into the dealership or the timeshare, uh, you know, show whatever they have, whatever they call it, the sales floor? Um, doesn't that conversation usually sound like, all right, honey, here's our game plan, right? Um, number one, if they try to keep us past the hour, they promise we're going to say kids are babysitters. We got to go. No negotiations. We're going to right off the bat. We know they're going to ask for a check. So what are we going to say? Hey, no matter what you say today, we're not signing a deal, right? We preemptively strike when we feel like there's going to be pressure or we might be taken advantage of. That's all these people are doing as well. You can't fault them for it. That's natural. That's how we act. So now that we know, number one, everyone sounds unmotivated to begin with. And number two, um, when people push back, it doesn't mean that they're unmotivated. It means that they are guessing whatever they're going to experience, they're not going to like, and they preemptively push back. So how do we deal with it? Number one, let's remove all pressure from the situation. And number two, let's get on the same side of the table as them. Let's get on the same page. Now, here's what it might sound like. All right, if I was calling back, uh, I listened to the phone call, VA, uh, had kind of a nasty call. They're open to getting a, an offer, but it did not sound good. Like, hey, don't lowball me. Um, you know, uh, don't waste my time, blah, blah, blah. Here's how I'd call them back. Hey, listen, um, number one, I want to really sincerely thank you for taking the, uh, the time, uh, you know, two minutes to hear me out here. Um, you know, typically when we call, um, 
people just want to make sure that they're going to get the best offer possible and um, we're not going to waste their time or anything like that. And I totally get that because I would feel the same way. Just want to let you know that my goal here is the exact same as yours. It's to come up with a number um, for the property that you'd actually let it go for and I could actually buy it for. So our goal is, is the exact same, right? Um, I can make uh, offers all day long, but if you don't accept that offer, right, then I've just wasted not only your time, but my time as well. Um, me making offers that you would never accept is just, uh, it's, it's, it's going to upset you, and I don't want to do that. Uh, you're going to get mad at me, right? And it's going to put me in a situation where I'm just uh, spinning my wheels and not moving forward buying houses, which is my job, my career, how I support my family. So my goal is the exact same as yours, is to come up with a number, the highest number possible that um, I could buy your house for, that you would be able, willing to let go of that house for. Is that fair enough? And if we, we don't see eye to eye on that number, if I can't get as high as you need, then, um, you know, just let me know and we'll part ways. No big deal at all. Totally understand. Again, my goal is to hopefully give you a number high enough uh, that it's one where you say, you know what, this makes sense. Let's, let's take a next step, whatever that is. So I hope that helps. Again, number one, uh, that pushback, that uneasiness, that's natural. Number two, they all sound unmotivated at first. Uh, I want you to think about all the deals you got. Most people first probably told you, you know, didn't sound that motivated. Number three, the, the, the way to deal with it is just say, hey, I totally get it. I feel the same way. Um, makes 100% sense, right? And now let's get on the same side of the table. It's not me versus you. We've got the same goal. Let's see if we can come up with a number where you are excited about selling your house and I'm excited about buying it. Um, you know, if my goal is just to come in and give you a number so low that you're gonna punch me in the nose, number one, I'm a guy with the punch nose, and number two, um, I don't have a house and that's how I make my living. So my goal is the same as yours. Can we come up with a number where the home actually changes hands, where the property changes hands, because that's a win-win. If I don't feel, I wouldn't be having this conversation if I didn't feel like I could do that. Uh, but hey, if we don't get there, no hard feelings. I'm gonna just want you to know I'm gonna put my best foot forward and offer the very much, the, you know, the most that I can. So, anyways, that's the video. Uh, I hope that helps someone out there. Uh, if not, you can just let me know, and uh, I'll slow down on these videos. Talk to you guys later.